warm and wet in the Whistler village means a lot less powder than many here would hope for. It's been kind of rainy. I haven't seen a lot of snow. There's not a lot of it up there right now. Unseasonably high temperatures driven by El Nino means there is no shortage of disappointment during peak season at Whistler Blackholm. Nancy Howe and her family traveled from Arkansas to be here. We had hoped that they would be a bit better, like a few more fluffy flakes. This couple from California, understandably underwhelmed. This was our first time, so we had heard great things about it, and I'm sure it's beautiful when it's covered in snow, but we just picked a crappy weekend, I think. <laughs> According to the mountain, the warm weather means a third of the lifts and just over half of the terrain are still closed. Didn't really enable us to make a lot of snow. We've got some uh, ski outs, but uh, it was challenging to uh, complete all the ski out routes down to the valley. Over the past week, users took to social media to vent over snow conditions and congestion, but Bale Resorts says that doesn't paint the entire picture. What they're showing is the ski outs in the valley, and that's very, very small percentage of the total footprint that we have up here. So. Um, it doesn't really represent the, the total experience that's available. While there is snow on the peaks and at higher elevations, the overall user experience is mixed. Yeah, you can have fun in it with the right board and like if you know what to do. It's not overly, overly bad, but mid-station down, it's spring break skiing and it's a little rough on your thighs. Would you say it's worth it uh, with the snow conditions, like buying a lift ticket? Uh, no, I don't think so, no. Why not? It's. There's no snow and we need some snow. Operators say their signs conditions will improve into the new year. Environment Canada says it's possible, but far from a guarantee. It's not looking like it's going to be a really strongly snow driven January. Still, even if fresh snow is in short supply, many here are still finding the silver lining. We don't get snow in Arkansas like this and we love to ski, So, and we're with family, so you make the best of what it is. Sean Hernandez, CBC News, Whistler.